Good morning, Daily Bible Time. Dominic Steele here for a Tuesday morning. And look, just a heads up today on the Pastor's Heart this afternoon, we're talking with Marshall Ballantyne Jones about the whole issue of pornography. And it'll be live on the Pastor's Heart Facebook page and then after that at thepastorsheart.net. But these few days in Daily Bible Time, we're thinking prayer. And in chapter 4 of his letter to the church in Colossae, the Apostle Paul asks for prayer. And look, just get this. Paul is holding up the model of praying for others in the family of God. And it's it's interesting. Paul doesn't, when he asks for prayer, ask them to pray for a quick release from jail for him. The big thing that the Apostle Paul asks for prayer for, he says, Colossians 4, sentence 3, pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ for which I am in chains Pray that I might proclaim it clearly as I should. As we start to appreciate what it is to have died with Christ, what it is to be risen with Christ, what it is to be hidden with Christ, as we start to appreciate this enormous privilege that God has given us, as we start to appreciate there are people out there, friends and family, still trapped in darkness, heading to hell outside of Christ, more than anything else, what we want is for those in darkness to come to know Christ and have a living relationship with him. And so we pray desperately to our Father in heaven that he might fling wide open the doors for the proclamation of the message of the mystery of Christ. And as God opens those doors, God might provide people who can boldly walk through those doors. And that those people who walk through those doors, they may not muck it up but they would speak clearly of Christ, Christ the Saviour who died for us, Christ the Lord that we should walk after. Paul asks that we would pray that this proclamation be clear, but it's just fascinating the way he puts it in Colossians 4.4. He says, pray that I may proclaim it clearly as I should. If I could just ask, I hope that there are those who are walking with Christ, who are watching this, who might pray for me, that I might make the message of Christ clear in the public work that I do. I get lots of platform opportunities. And I mean, if you do hear that I'm speaking somewhere, please pray for me. But just see the little line, as I should. Pray that I would make it clear, but also expect demand of me that I make it clear. I mean, if you invite a friend, to listen as I speak of the mystery of Christ. If you bring a friend, then it's quite, if you go into that trouble, then it's quite, you put the relationship on the line, then it's quite reasonable of you to expect to demand that it be clear, that the speaker should be clear. So pray that I make it clear, but be annoyed if I haven't, because it'll mean I haven't done my job properly. Anyone who has the privilege of doing platform work for Christ is expected to make the mystery of Christ clear. And look, there are people out there who are occupying pulpits, platforms, who either can't or won't make it clear. Either they're not able to speak clearly of Jesus or they're opposed to speaking clearly of Jesus. And actually, if they can't or won't, the word of God from this verse is actually get out of the way. Leave the platform open for somebody else who's able or willing to make it clear. For God is absolutely clear. There are people outside of Christ who need clarity to be led to light. Thanks so much for joining us for Daily Bible Time today. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And I do hope, pray, that you can join us for church on Sunday and bring someone 9.30 in the morning or 6pm, either in person or online at Village Church Annandale.